Hi, let's see one of the gate question which was asked in the year 2021. So here they have given uh, a C function called simple function and they are asking for let J be an area of 10 elements with Z of i equal to 1. For all i such that 0 less than or equal to i less than or equal to 9. What is the meaning of that? They have an array called Z array array called z array where i value they defined with a range from 0 to 9 meaning that the array contains 9 indexes 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so 10 elements so you know right this is an array which contains 10 elements and for each and every index portion they place the value 1 all the index portion they place the value 1. This is what the meaning of this one. The value written by the simple function z comma 10 comma 2. Meaning that the z array they passed into y array. So obviously you know if you are going to pass an array from one portion to another portion the receiving parameter should be again another array. So they declared here y array and I am simply making it as y array only. Y array and the n value is 10 value of n is 10 and the value of x is value of x is 2 okay now they make the total value as total value as y of 0 what is y of 0 y of 0 is 1 and they made loop index so loop index they have taken one for loop loop index value is 1 so I made loop index value also 1 and they are trying to check for loop index is less than or equal to n minus 1. What is the value of n? 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. Meaning that loop index value has to be iterated from 1 to 9. 1 to 9. So they are going to simply check. So this is simple one. You can able to trace out that total equal to x into total plus y of loop index. So total equal to x value. What is the value of x? x value is 2 which is constant in each and every iteration into total what is total present 1 plus y of loop index y of loop index is y of 1 y of 1 y of 1 is 1 only 2 into 1 plus 1 that is 3 that will be updated in the total variable called total variable so that is 3 so this is for when the loop index value is 1 when the loop index value is 1 so you have to make it iterate for 9 times 9 times right so when you make it for 9 times so you can able to simply solve manually you can do that you can do that so here for the second iteration for the second iteration so i am going to simply generalizing here for second iteration this total will be multiplied with 3 multiplied with 2 right so i will try to write 2 into total is 3 plus y of 2 now li value is 2 y of 2 is what 1 only 1 only right so 2 into 3 plus 1 that is 7 that is 7 guys try to observe now you can able to understood so they are simply multiplying the total value with 2 and they are going to add plus 1 they are going to add plus 1 so for li value 2 i did that for li value 2 i did that and if you are going to change the loop index always it is going to have only value 1 that's why i am going to just add plus 1 so li value 2 so let me let me do that li value 2 i got the value as 7 for 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 i have to do so 2 into 7 14 plus 1 15 15 into 2, 30, 30 plus 1, 31. Okay, 31 Pfizer, 155 plus 1, that is 156. I think uh, I am going in a wrong manner. Let me tell once again. So, what we are going to do now? 2 into, so every time you need to multiply with 2, that's it. 2 into 7 plus 1, that is 15. 
2 into 15 plus 1, 31. 62, 2 into 31 is 62 plus 1 is 63. 63 into 2, 126 plus 1 is 127. 127 plus 1, that is 255. 255 plus 1, 255 into 2 plus 1. Obviously, we are going to get 511. 511 into 2 plus 1. 1022 plus 1 is 1023. Right? Meaning that for the index portion loop index value 9, you are going to get the value as 1023. Total value as 1023. Now, loop index is going to be incremented by 1. That is 10. Is 10 less than or equal to 9? Obviously, condition file. When condition file, it is going to come simply written the total. What is the total value you got? 1023. So, your answer will be 2023 okay so once you make practice of habit habit so you can able to solve like this generalization process otherwise you have to do everything manually okay i hope you understood clearly thank you